Hi, I'm John Dixon and I've got a three minute Christmas Jesus for you. It's perhaps odd to begin a Christmas reflection with an insight from the Buddha, but actually Siddhartha Gautama said something I find really compelling and apt for this time of year. It's sometimes in the happiest moments, he said, that sadness pierces through. ABC journalist Julia Baird once made a similar point in a Christmas piece. She wrote that the world has taken some very strange turns in recent years. Aleppo, Brexit, climate change, fracturing global accord, partisan ugliness, and an atmosphere of cheap shots and short-term gain. Gut has triumphed over grace, she writes. Her answer to this dilemma is we must strive to find our own peace in a brutal world. But of course, a Christmas invites us to something even deeper than that. Anno Domini 1 was every bit as mixed and weird as 2019. Mary and her little family might not have had Aleppo, Brexit and partisan ugliness and all the rest of it, but they did have Emperor Augustus flexing his muscles in a worldwide census designed to extract more tax and tighten his grip on his vassal states. And they had the brutality of Herod the Great, a man who got rid of his own offspring on a hunch and thought nothing of doing the same to the infants of Bethlehem. Then there was the unplanned and scandalous pregnancy together with their 120 kilometre journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, probably on foot, with all due respect to the donkey of the Christmas cards. And when they arrived, there's no room, there's a manger. The whole story is very strange, very mixed. Sadness and joy lie side by side. The Gospel writers seem to emphasise the strangeness by repeating the words in a manger, in a manger, in a manger. The phrase appears three times in quick succession in Luke chapter 2. Luke seems to be driving a point home, and it's a point easily lost on us actually. What could be more cliched at Christmas time than a baby in a manger? But a manger is an animal feeding area. God has stepped onto the world stage at the lowest point on earth. An infant squeezed out of the guest room, relegated to the area for animals. It's the bottom of the world. At the very moment Emperor Augustus is flexing his muscles and Herod is shaking his fist, God, we're told, enters the mess. Humbly, from below. The manger is a throne in the sense that it's a sign that God intends to turn everything upside down. Grace will triumph over gut, and joy will pierce the sadness fully and forever.